hello wonderful souls um i'm back again and this is a custom order it's a sewing kit and i wanted to go ahead and film it um just so i could document it and this lady has been so patient with me oh my god um yeah i got behind on some things uh you know just family stuff all good stuff but yeah just busy but I try to make sure also to take my time in curating these so I don't miss anything. A lot of times what happens is I'll curate these kits and then I'll look for other items for other kits and think, oh my gosh, that would have been great in the previous kit. And so, yeah, sometimes, not all the time, guys, but sometimes you'll get a package after the fact um, just because I found something that I thought maybe you could use. And usually they're small um, envelope packages so anyway thank you to this buyer um, who contacted me she saw the previous sewing kit I put together and really liked that one and so I'm just very very appreciative and very very happy and thankful for her patience um because I like I said I, I sort of got behind a little bit um anyway I'm not gonna really really not talk a lot because you guys have seen this um not this exact kit obviously I can't ever recreate the exact same kit ever um, so you've seen similar kits to this one and it's a sewing thing. So with that said, let me get right down with the get down and just show you what I put together or let me put the paper stuff last. Um, cause that's my favorite part. So, um, and I don't have my, I have a, uh, I did get another, oh, what do you call it? Another, um, poster board uh, to put this stuff on so you don't have to look at my used dirty you know beloved space <laughs> um, but yeah that's okay um, it's nothing is wet there's no ink on there it's just you know where I do stuff sometimes okay so let me start let's see guys I think I'll start with the napkins because or actually I'll start with this stuff because this is what takes me a little time to get through um, what I put in here is, hang on guys, I think I'm going to change this so I don't feel like I need to constantly wipe that off. There's nothing on there, but those little spots and things bother me. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think this is a little bit better so I don't keep swiping and swiping and swiping. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's look at this stuff first. Um, I will probably still do that. I don't know why it bothers me when I have little... It really doesn't. I just, I don't know. I'm just crazy today. Okay, anyway, so um, what I did is I tried to sort of recreate um, the first sewing kit. Well, not the first one, the last sewing kit that I put together. So this is what I put in there for her. There's some lace there. I don't think that's old lace. And here's some more pieces here. Whoops upside down some sari silk from pen and hook on Etsy love her sari silk and I'm so glad I got it to add to my kits um, it's it's really beautiful and even the little silky you know um, fibers just kind of fly in the air um, you know it's that really 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 good silk so whoops you can kind of see where some pieces there but it doesn't, once you start handling it, um, these little pieces kind of um, go away, so to speak. Or wear down, I should say. And then there's some of that. I think I was able to um, include that in the last sewing kit. And then here's some seam binding in pink. And here, hang on guys, let me scoot you over just a little bit. There we go. Um, let's see, here's some pretty trim, eyelet-like. I've been trying to, I haven't been trying, I've been watching, actually watching some um, new um, YouTubers in terms of, maybe they're not new, but their channels don't have a lot of subbies, but they have some beautiful work. Um, and so I've been watching... Um, some of those and maybe I can do some shout outs of inspiration too at some point and here's some more iron hooks and 
these are vintage um, packaging very yellowed lots of patina here's some pretty ribbon here I like this ribbon I think it makes good tabs so I put some of that in there and I had to put a clip to hold it because it likes to unravel some tickets and another little button card here and that's vintage um, this is Banana Republic I think this is from some of my old 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 clothes clothes that I used to be able to fit in <laughs> um, that I don't know I just brought a lot of stuff back um, with me from California and I was going through some old things I do have a lot of journals guys that that are just handwritten journals from over the years but again nothing like junk journaling and and how cool um, this whole whole um, culture is but those were in some of my old clothing um, pieces from California some old uh, packaging and stuff that I just kind of had laying around packaged or bagged up I should say and there's some of those clothing tags I have a zillion of those and I put in this time some um, a spool unlike in the other previous kit and there's an old wooden spool there and those are vintage um, and then I put in oh this is really cute I found I left it out so I could tell you I found this little package I don't know if these are new or old or you know I don't know but they're just like little labels there was only four of them in there and so I put one of them in um, this particular kit because I thought that was really cute the little scissors the pin cushion the thread and needle handmade by mom which is really cute um, there's some little uh, snaps and pins and little goodies in there those are always great to de decorate the front cover maybe there's a whole um, measuring tape it's intact in blue and this guys check this out there was another one in there I just had to give her these I have not scanned these um, I just my printers broken right it's not broken I need a cartridge and cartridges for my printer are really expensive I should have thought of that before I bought the printer but I didn't it's a really good printer it's an HP Pro but um, I, I would love to scan and copy um, these but I'm not gonna she can do it herself and share it with her friends and there's that part of it isn't that gorgeous made in England so she'll get the original to that and because she was so darn patient with me I had to add in another one and look at that one and I haven't scanned that one either that's made in England the boil needle it's got two needles still in there I think it had more in there look at the back of that isn't that gorgeous so pretty look at that and then you open it and look at the page um, those page decorations on there a lot of the stuff I have this old stuff guys don't be shy in scanning it and sharing it I I really wish I could uh, do digital um, well, um, Joanna, Joanna, I'm so sorry, Joanna. I, I know better because you know, <laughs> I know better, but I always mess up her name too. Joanna, um, had said, Renee, you should scan, um, digitize a lot of your items that way they just sit there and and you just go for it. And I thought about it and I said, No, I don't have time for that. And then I said, Well, maybe I could. I'm st I still haven't done it. I am working on some old vintage, um, knitting patterns though and that's taking me forever oh my god that's taking me so long but it's it's yeah it's getting there and I'm really really excited about that and there's some more buttons but I think um, what Joanna was um, saying is is actually right and I wish I could I, at some point maybe guys I don't know I'm off for this summer but it's been enough just keeping up with making kits which I absolutely love and so maybe when I have time off again I might digitize some things so there's some garment pens excuse me and some buttons a little bell those are so cute on page edges um, here's a little pen here 
Well, it's not little. It's pretty big. Um, and there's some cute little appliques. Um, and I put in this kit these little flat back pearls because I think those are just great um, to uh, put in the center of flowers. Obviously, flowers not that small. <laughs> I'm not a crafter, guys, but I'm not a complete... Re uh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. And there's some pretty colorful clips these things seem so simple and you can buy these like any everywhere but they really do matter when you're clipping down stuff or adding these little bells and I put some pearls in there um, that she can probably make a charm a book charm with I didn't get um, there's some rosettes little little roses there my mom gave me those and some more buttons I didn't get a um, purchase or get a dangle with this one like I had for the other one because I'm really hoping that some of you will um, go over to Jim to the Eye Vintage on Etsy and take a look at her dangles uh, yourselves. So I may, I'm pretty sure I've got a cowboy kit coming up and it is packed. Cowboys and Indians. Oh my God, it's so packed. That's for my great auntie's estate. And that's why I put those little pearls in there. But I know you guys have your own... Um, you know little things you decorate with even if it's a sequin or something I think is what you do I still have a lot of her little flowers left um, I had another one. Oh, here's another one here so that's really cute and I've used these before in my thank you tags I do know how to make tags and I just take out this little centerpiece and staple the flowers on there and they make at the top of the tag and they're really cute so there's that and there's a little um, packaging there with some pretty threads on it I just stuck that down in there because that might make a really cute um, page element embellishment and then I put some buttons in here and these are the buttons I chose for this kit I did manage to find and an have another a second of the uh, penny made So there's that, and that's that vintage um, J.C. Penney's, um, and it's got the packaging, the tag on it as well, and it's yellowed, really pretty. This one I like because she might be able to remove um, these buttons off of here and put her own buttons on there, and the packaging is really pretty. Made in the USA. So there's those, and I have these and these and I tried to pick colors that were not all oops sorry <laughs> that were not all um you know frou-frou and that she might want to have some vintage looking um pieces in there some rustic greens and vintage so I'll move this over here and I put in some cards. Let me just fly through this. And this is my usual. So you guys, you've seen this this stuff. Not this exact stuff. Some of it is exact, but you've seen um, these before. So let me see if I can get closer. There we go. So I put some cards. Butterfly. I'm making another cat kit as well. I got a cowboy cat, a space cat, um, <laughs> a cowboy kit, a cat kit, a space cowboy cat. What was I trying to say? Okay, I have a cowboy, a cat, and a space kit. Those kits are coming up. Jeez. <laughs> My words, they don't want to come out right today. My brain is on, no, not today. We can't. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy these last, I think I got about six more weeks off, um, and I plan to really surprise you guys with some back-to-back -back kits um, that that I'm working on in between custom orders. And there's some little pieces, beautiful ladies, there's a French card, and there's some of the uh, cigarette cards. Now, I, I was watching on Nick's... Um, video where a lady had said that these were actually tea cards 
Um, but I th I don't know, guys. I think they're both. I think they they were in cigarette. They're called cigarette cards and or tea cards. But I don't know. I kind of like the tea thing better. <laughs> I really do. But I can't be. Um, she's selling. Can't be um, unbiased towards smokers because my mom was one. She's wearing her patches diligently. It's probably why I never smoked cigarettes because of her and my grandma. That's made in Japan. And I washi taped the back of this. This is just old packaging. I didn't have another one of those old beat up um, empty zipper packages. So I put that one in there. Uh, on the last one, I just folded up an old zipper package. Because um, I know you guys can be super creative with those. And there's another tea card, cigarette card, whatever you want to call it. And there's um, those tags and um, a vintage... Um, you know flower card so there are those and let's see what else and then here's the fabric I put some lace in there so there's a good deal of it on there you can see I haven't been able to scavenge or find very much lace lately I think everybody's taking it up um, faster than I can find it and I haven't been out scavenging very very much lately either just because again we're on a summer budget so and here's the zipper and it's got those cool ladies kind of dancing and flouncing and frolicking around and it's green it's really 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 yellowed I'm not even I, I don't think it's ever been opened <laughs> um, but I love that um, and then I put in some uh, of this that she can cut these flowers out with See those and again that a lot of that comes from from a lot of you it's inspired by a lot of you really it's inspired a lot by Sagita but it's inspired by many 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 of you bookmakers uh, Reem uses that a lot too Reem at um, the paper pixie then I put one of these in here and if you haven't seen I can't imagine anyone has not seen Joanna's uh, vintage linens man that just blew me to smithereens it blew me away um, she's got where you can actually uh, vintage um, linens that you can that are digitized and you can download those and use those in your journals and sort of journal on the side because it'll be paper when you print it off right so I love that I love the feel of, of this textile though and I think that would make a pretty um, pocket or tuck or tip in and there's the um, vintage hanky. I try my best to include these in um, all of my kits, but it's difficult. Some of these were gifted to me. Some are from my mom and my my uh, mom's and my estate, but it's, you know, it's my mom's stuff that she's given me um, made in Switzerland, imported um, from my aunts and some that my aunt gave me herself, of course, and my grandmother's stuff. And I won't, you know, I've kept everything from my family that I want to keep. Um, and I just don't want to hoard stuff. And there's no reason for me to sit on it. So, but this is not from my estate. Uh, my mom's estate. This is, um, I don't know where I got that from. Um, here's some fabric pieces here. And these are contemporary. They're not vintage, but they're pretty. I love how, again, you'll hear me be, be redundant and repetitive. I love how you ladies mix and match colors like sometimes you'll have a green page that's this gorgeous vibrant green and then pow there's some kind of I don't know like a burgundy something or a I don't know how you do that but it's really cool I love how those colors contrast but they look so beautiful like that um, this is another piece of fabric with some um, little flowers on it feels like linen um, but I'm not sure and so I think that's pretty she can make pockets with those or tip bins and this you guys have seen before love this I love it I have quite a bit of this so that's why you see me using it a lot in the kits and sharing it around because it's really pretty and this you've seen before and there's a big piece of that in there those roses are so gorgeous very very unique different colors that sort of spearmint or evergreen green 
and those corals and those um, um, sort of I don't know if that's like an umber color that that reddish orangish looking rose but I love the corals and then there's some even there's some goals in there too and my camera's probably not doing it justice but that's what it is um, this I put in here um, I won't call this a remnant it's a complete piece but somebody didn't finish the work and decided to abandon um, this lovely pattern here and not finish it um, and so I thought she could use that um, and it's got some stains there where somebody set something on it but it's clean um, so she can cut that up and make pockets tip ins um, page embellishments with that and then here's some pretty uh, um, fabric with some flowers some florals and there's a good deal of that in there it's pretty big oops sorry I'm hitting the edge of my tripod there there we go and I put in some coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth I found the last time I was out scavenging around I found um, two packages a lady had in her little booth for a dollar each and I just grab them up this is the kind of stuff I just grab um, anytime I can and so there's a really a nice piece of that in there and I did go ahead and coffee dye it but if she, for some reason she doesn't like the smell she can you know use it or gift it to someone else and I do put vanilla in my coffee to kind of tone it down a little bit um I gotta hurry guys whoops my camera's upside down there we go <laughs> Okay, um, so there's that. I gotta fly through this. There's some pretty flowers there. And this beautiful piece of um, lace. And she can cut those flowers out. They've even got some shimmery gold. Kind of like that. I think you guys call it perfect pearls. It's kind of got that perfect pearl look, if that makes sense. I was watching Marina Wilson, who I'm, whom I absolutely adore her work too. She's, she's another one of those, um, like April, uh, one of those people who just take, you know, items and take them to a whole different level. <laughs> like, you know, items you wouldn't normally, um, see in a, in a very traditional kind of junk journal, but she was talking about how perfect pearls, they don't make it anymore. Um, and yeah, I love, love Marina's uh, work, too. Um, this is a piece of, um, I think this is cotton. It feels and looks like linen, but because it frays right there. Can you see that, guys? Oh, dear. Let's see. There we go. So you can see how that kind of frays. Um, so, yeah. So there's that. But it, it's really nice. I put some of that in my cowboy kit too because I love that rustic look. And then here's some napkins. Whoops. Here we go. I forget to check that sometimes. Some butterflies. And a peacock. Okay. So she'll get all of that. I tried to double up a little bit more on her fabric because she was so patient in, in waiting uh, for me to get this uh, out to her and let's see paper let me get this rocking and rolling um, let me just turn it whoops upside down so that I can just flip through this here pretty quickly what I did um, this is my usual if if you're new to my channel I will always have see this whiteboard didn't help because you can still see me swiping <laughs> I don't know it's just I don't know that's just me but anyway um if you're new to my channel I'll always include with these big kits um mo actually this is most often in all of my kits and I call this my filler paper and so let me just fly through here you'll get like a file folder some cardstock writing paper that's yellowed that's contemporary Hard stop. I doubled up on that. 
really thick cardstock in a nice size. Some children's penmanship paper, handwriting paper, uh, butterflies, writing stationery, um, just some junky junk paper, cardstock. This I call my filler papers because this will help you fill up your book. Um, not that some of you need help with that. <laughs> Or it's a good stash, right, that you can use um, in your, your journals. So it's just a variety of papers. I was watching uh, Wanka uh, this morning. Wanka, I think is how you say her name. Um, and her journal, she made an Audrey Hepburn journal that was so pretty. She put so many um, different papers in it, and I just love it. Um that's kind of what, what I like about when you guys are creating as well. How uh, much of a variety that you put in your in your journals. Envelopes. Paper. This is vintage Hallmark. Old Hallmark, old Hallmark writing paper. There's a CD sleeve. It's got an open there. More of the colored index. A paper bag. Writing paper cardstock um, grid paper and I have so much of this stuff I just put different kinds of grid in there so you'll get different sizes in the little grids um, and coloring there's some purple cardstock file uh, tabs dividers there's some bingo paper some um, little business cards and like a marbling and just some pretty pinks and blues corals and blue cardstock messaging papers and writing papers there's a different one it almost looks like the other one under there but that's different there's one there envelope this envelope is sealed but you can coffee dye it slit it open where you'd like and use it that way and there's some of my um, favorite uh, security envelopes CDs more security, a popcorn bag, a receipt, file, sticker tab thingies. <laughs> Still can't remember those. Little sticker circles in yellow, game pieces, and some of those are old. And then some uh, one image from my mom's magazine, and I picked it. I chose this because of the dressmaker's um, mannequin there. So there's that pack. And let's see, pattern paper. And again, if you're new to my channel, I don't purchase new things. I just find leftover stuff. Um, I, you know, I do have to, washi tape, I don't ever put washi tape in, in case you guys didn't notice that in my kits. Because I can't afford it. And I, you know, it's, it's just cool. I love washi tape. But at some point I gotta maybe start adding some of that in there. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. So there's a sewing a dressmaker's mannequin. I thought that was pretty and sewy looking. I doubled up on it. I'm going to take that out because I don't want you to have two of everything. Two of anything because that's not fun. Um, there's some sewing pattern paper there. Some florals. There's that couture. This pad I found, guys, and it had... I wish I could show it to you. Can I, can I, can I? Because I didn't last time. Look at this. This is what I found. When I found this, this um, DCWV pad, look how much is, can I, oh, do this. Look how much is taken out of it, but how much is left in there. And it's split. So, and I've taken a few sheets out of it myself. But it was, you know, there just wasn't a, a lot of left in there. Or, or you know, it wasn't a whole pad. I think the per the people take out what they want and then if they stop crafting because I'm sure most of you crafters you use every single one of your and that's the last sheet of that you use all of your pad paper because that stuff's expensive um, but again I promise you one of these days I will turn the camera on when I discover that in a warehouse I go to when I discover pads like that she's got a large pattern here I think I put one of these in the other one and in that is a big 
in Shannon Green's terminology. I love it. And my best friend Tracy in California. Hunk and piece of stack of uh, a piece of um, pattern paper. And this is in white. So that's kind of cool. I did put some um, of the brown general standard traditional um, pattern paper in here because a lot of you like that vintage look. Um, yeah. So there's that. She'll get all of that. Get it back in there. There we go. Here's the brown paper that I added in there. So I gave her a big, um, big piece of that. And she also gets another pattern that's full. There's a barcode on that one, so it's not wholly vintage, but she can play around with that. And those images. Um, some of my coffee dye paper. And music. Ledger. Ledger. Ledger with handwriting. That's not terribly vintage. That's 1998. But I love this person's handwriting. Um, there's some Ledger 1950s. Here's my last sheet of um, 1890 um, paper. And I may, one of these days, I may be able to, to get uh, more of, of this. I hope so. I don't know. But that's 1890, so she gets that. More Ledger. More Ledger. More Ledger. <laughs> As Nick the Booksmith says. So cute. I love it. Um, there's that brown cardstock, and I think I doubled up on that, but that's okay. And there's some music paper there. And there are some dictionary pages. I doubled up on some of this. You can see how I, I have a stack and I go through it, and then I try to make sure that I make sure that I make sure that I make double, double, double sure <laughs> that I include that in there. So it's okay. And then there's some Rolodex rotary cards grid. And then here are some of those old vintage um, pattern uh, that comes out of a book. And it's got some cute little sewing images in there that I thought she could make um, tags or stitching patterns. I love that stuff. And there's more there. And there's a lady there threading her needle. Those she can copy and share with other people. And there's... This has got someone's handwriting on it. To avoid a skirt stitch, make sure your needle is on the something stroke. Mm, yeah, that's foreign to me. <laughs> Since I don't sew on a sewing machine, I can sew by hand a little bit, but yeah. And there's that, and there's that, knickknacks, more sewing, old uh, file folder. This is a 1984 pocket file uh, thingy some beautiful 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 vintage wallpaper love this stuff and this is not vinyl this is that paper if I tore this it would rip so there's another piece there and then one last piece there those are those are gorgeous I just love 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 that stuff love it and there's some pink paper parchment paper in blue a different kind of blue, brownish, vintage-ish, more parchment and ivory and gray linen paper, parchment and kind of a eggshell, I don't even think that's eggshell white, that's kind of like a cream, um, there's that, there are my Tim Holtz inspired ancestor people images, the booth images. Love that. Love, love, love that. And these ladies are gorgeous. Look at that. You can cut them out and use them to decorate or collage. 
and those are from the, uh, 1945. An old vintage uh, construction paper and construction paper. There's I have so much of that stuff. This has been sitting up for a while though somewhere because it's got a yellowing patina around the edges. There's some drawing paper. When I found this, I think I give uh, sent to Reem some drawings that were in this pack in this drawing paper pack of you. She had there were unicorns. Um, my husband didn't draw those. I mean he. he He's a really, 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 really humble, modest, good artist. Um, and there's a lady sewing, and she's sewing there. And I love this image there. And more cardstock and teal. That's pretty stenography. I'm at 35 minutes, guys. I better put a move on it. Um, I put this in here for the dressmaking. Uh, it says dresses there. And this has some embroidery images. Stenography. Dictionary. Salud, honey. Um, let's see. This has, oh, this is really cute. Look at that. That's a little girl on a sewing machine. There. And then... There's some more in children. There's some book pages. Um, this lady here is getting busy. She's sewing away. Love that image. That's a big sewing machine too, by the way. That's one of those industrial looking sewing machines. And there's some images there. I've scanned those, copied those before, but I'm letting the original go. Uh, just because I probably won't use them. Sometimes I like to let things go, guys, so that it's not repetitive all the time. That, you know, it's sort of like limited edition, you know? And I don't need to hoard either. Um, there's some ladies. And then I put one of these gorgeous in my wildflower book. I have some beautiful images. Um, I love the Edith Holden book that everybody's using. Um, that her pages those pages are just gorgeous in books love that this pa paper is really fragile so she may want to um, copy that and it's 1930s 1930s it's one of, on one of my old videos and it's safe to copy that and share it and there's some more old ledger that's from 1934 music paper Sorry, guys, I'm sighing because I'm trying to hurry. Oh, look at this. Here we go again. Hello again, little girl. And I love, he says, be mine, baby. This would be a good Valentine uh, image. And this stuff is old. And she's just kind of looking. But I like her attire. That's why I put that in there. And there's an old um, image. This beautiful dress. That's an art piece. Music paper. Here's another one. And if this kit seems slightly a little uh, more heftier than the previous one, it's um, because I took so much time to send this to her. And I really, um, I doubled up on some things. But yeah, I just wanted to show my appreciation. Because I kind of got behind on stuff. I don't like to, to do that. But sometimes it happens. Not very often for me. I usually ship out pretty fast. Custom orders take me forever. Oh my god. That's a 1947 magazine. And I put some of these images in there. And there's a sewing machine. Some flowers. I scanned those originals I won't ever give up because I just love them so much and then here's a pretty um, image of some vintage paper and it's got some tailoring for children's clothing and women and men's clothing and there's one of the vintage very fragile paper pieces there more vintage music paper um, you're so right that comes from an old book there's a clear packaging that she might be able to put something in some coloring books I love how Val at Pumpkin Patch adds coloring um, pages into hers they all have such a beautiful um, inspirational story behind them why she includes those in there 
There's some children's writing paper again, some maps because all my kids need a map in there, right? Um, another um, wallpaper, paper wallpaper, not vinyl a piece, a bag, glassing, craft bag, pink bag, um, pa uh, just paper, envelope, envelope, ledger, cardstock, perforated, and more of these. Um, some more images there, and some more papers, writing papers. Here's some cardstock from another pack I found. Didn't have very much left in it, but. And then I put in, oh my god, guys, this is crazy. <sighs> more sewing images, more sewing images, a pattern piece. I think that would be cute, like a doily inside of a journal. Envelopes. Images, fashion, and work basket stuff. A lot of you have commented on my videos that you have some of these. Take them out, use them. They're, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful in, in journals, I think. And I would probably copy it and use it in my journals because the pages are so fragile. But that's one of uh, ephemera piece from my aunt's um, estate. There's some... Um, general packaging all right let me stop that's from my great auntie's estate an old 1950 receipt that's not part of her estate but those are old and yellow that's part of her estate that's a ephemera piece from their American Express payment a bingo card some of my coffee dyed um, index cards I doubled up on that game pieces that's all doubled up there's that and some yellow ivory envelopes and some of my coffee dyed envelopes I stamped a dress on that one. Oh my god guys I'm in trouble um, so these are some stamped images that I put on coffee dyed index cards and some tags I made for her of sewing machines and needles and threads and all that cool stuff. Bingo index cards. Another bingo card. More index. Index cards. Because those make great tags. stamped button on that and the last part um, some flash cards little glassine bags um, paint chips some images and there's that Nick inspired baggy thingy you can put something in there and some die cuts some of my 1976 cards catalog cards from the library you think that working at a teaching at a university I'd have an opportunity to get lots of those but I don't <laughs> um, let's see guest check some ephemera not for my great auntie's estate some blue cards this is sewing pattern a uh, sewing paper from a tracing paper thing kit old vintage little pieces of ephemera and that says jeans these are a different kind of uh, security envelope envelope coin envelope I said it right this time um, guest checks and another card a score card two time cards an envelope little glassine bags and finally my favorite love these that's got some dresses on them there's that one and this one and these are coffee dyed and I laid um, a index card on those and that's just a piece a tag she can make out of that coffee dyed and that's it guys okay so oh wait no it's not sorry 
one more <laughs> there's that this is how I get in trouble and then you order something for me and then you get another package for me because my mind went crazy for a second and I totally left something out okay guys I think this is the longest video oh my gosh wait sorry the book there's the book <laughs> Jeez Louise here's the book and it's got this beautiful coral um, with these ribbons I picked one that had ribbons on it um, Reader's Digest books a little bit more expensive than what I would normally pay for these but I've had these for a little while um, and so yeah I just I think that's beautiful I probably will gut this one um, just because it's it's easier on the uh, shipping right you guys know that I'm, I'm preaching to the choir okay that's it guys I better go I'll be back with some more kits um, for my Etsy store and I have another custom order coming up um, and I've got a space kit a cowboy and Indians kit together a cat kit and a botanical kit um, and a renaissance kit sort of an Edwardian kit and then I have a host of tiny little minis um, that I plan to put together so stay tuned okay Bye. Adios. Sale pues. Órale pues.